I've not demoed my controller yet, which is here next to my oscillator. Now I have a switch here with a yellow arrow. Now when I flick that switch, this oscillator is assigned to the first controller. So then I've got three oscillators on controller number one. If I flick the switch up, I put the arrow there because it confuses me. I can never remember <laughs> which way. So when that's up, the oscillator is assigned to this controller. So here we have two mixers and I'm using this mixer and this is the switch to arm it for my oscillator and controller and I'm using this mixer with two pots turned down on the sawtooth and the pulse output of the Moog oscillator and there's only one turned up so we can um, we can basically here compare the waveforms so this is the Moog switched to pulse <laughs> If I vary the pulse width This is my oscillator Vary the pulse width Back to the Moog together right let's go to um, I'll switch these across we'll go to sawtooth so this is the Moog sawtooth my sawtooth Together. I can flick mine up a fifth. I can flick it down a fourth. mine on its own again if I flick that down it goes to the other controller and you'll notice that's an octave lower which is quite handy on a gig I don't have to play with um, footages because when you play with footages you have to retune so switching the first two because it's now controlled by this controller two oscillators so there's three oscillators on the same controller <laughs> Mine up a fifth. Down a fourth. So that's my controller, see?